yeah, we're excited to get down here. We got a Monday practice uh, Christmas Day, and then we got a Tuesday practice this morning. Um, wanted to get down here so we could get used to the weather a little bit tomorrow, and hopefully avoid rain Thursday. Say that we may have Thursday rain, but uh, our guys have been great. We've had really good practices the last two days. Uh, practices have been a lot better since we came back, and uh, we've got a lot of new years here. Excited to see these guys on play. Intensity, what you want to practice, no drop off in these kind of circumstances? Absolutely not. I, I don't know that the practices leading up to Christmas break were probably what I would love, but since we've been back, the two we've had have been really good. Kirby, uh, Florida State has uh, announced a lot of players that have opted out. Uh, what's going on with your program in that regard? Is there anything you can share with us uh, about guys that might not be playing? Right now we've got our guys that are healthy playing, guys that are completely healthy, clear to play. They've all said they're going to play. They've been practicing, doing everything. We do have guys dinged up and injured that have been trying to fight their way back, but we'll see if they can go or not for the game. You look at this team, you prepare for them, what they have on paper, and then you move play, you might not play 30, or what do you do, or just thought you would get better at taking advantage of these next practices? Yeah, we've been taking the approach that, I mean, it's not about them, it's about us. And, uh, we don't really know. It doesn't matter to us because we're trying to play to our standard. We're always trying to play to our standard. We've had a lot more good on good in practices. It's probably been the best bowl practices in terms of not going against the scout team and going against each other. Because when you don't know 100% what you're going to see, you're better off going against really good people. So we've done a lot of ones on ones, twos on twos, and probably have gotten more threes on threes than we ever have because we got good depth with the. Uh, 9, 10, 11, I don't know how many it is, many years that are there now. So we do have to get a lot of depth in Excuse my ignorance, I don't know if the trying to the rules. Guys that are now in the world, how many of you are they might be with you in a lot of practice? It depends on if they're admitted to school. So if they're admitted to school, I don't know if you're talking about mid-years or transfer mid-years. London's here, um, but not all the guys are here. Just the guys that have been admitted to school. I've got a stay and hook you up a little bit. Uh, so some, uh, some good food and uh, some good fellowship, but uh, no gifts or anything that we got. It's a balance between enjoying the week and getting business. Uh, I mean, uh, getting business done. You got to tell the guys to go to the game and get business straight. Well, we want to enjoy it. They've earned this opportunity. That's what bowls are. They've been fun. I think our senior class and uh, guys leaving, they really want to finish on top. They want to get 50 wins for the senior class. I think we're at 49, and it's really important to them to hit that 50 number and to do something special. They want to walk off the field winners, Cedric Van Brand, uh, all these things. They, they, they want to finish on time. What's your place to block? Playing the game or just taking the Well, I mean, that's just the block, really. I mean, the block's been with us the whole time, and he's been doing all the things he's got to do, but it's more important that he's 100% healthy. You know, the guy probably played earlier than he should have. And uh, he came out there and competed his butt off. He's done everything in Cameron, Georgia. So he's not 100%, and so that makes that a little hard too. What about Lad? Lad's great. Lad's been, Lad's, been, Lad's been practicing with us, working out. Lad will play. Lad's missed some games and hasn't been able to play some games. And, uh, I mean, he, he's still coming off of an injury from the SEC championship game that he was not 100%. Uh, he's out there every day at practice, he's taking her out. Catching punts, good punts, he's doing a lot of good things. So we had to hold him back some, but he's practicing, doing a good job, hitting good miles per hour. So I expect that to be able to go. Other than the practices, the next race of the game, what are you looking forward to most on I think the kids getting away from our campus and getting the sunshine and getting out here competing. I'm ready to see them play. I mean, I want to see the guys go play. A lot of guys that uh, have been working their butts off, moving up and down the depth chart. We're probably healthier than we've been for the last four or five games in the year, and uh, it's great to see these guys go out and play. I mean, I'm really proud of the guys that are dying to go play. I, nobody thinks like guys aren't going to play. Our guys are going to play. Our guys want to play. Uh, our guys are excited to play. Do you, do you have some transfer portal guys that are, are here? I know your kicker is going to stay for the game. Anybody else? No, Zirkel was a special circumstance. He was, I don't know, fourth year, fifth year, he's been here forever. And, he asked me, he said, can I go in? I, I didn't even know if he was going to go in yet. He's got his graduate degree, he's graduated. He just wants to stay with us and get the final one. A lot of guys don't want to do that. They want to go look, stop around, figure out where they're going. That was never the intent for him. He 
just wouldn't see what options were out there. Well, it is what it is, right? We've been dealing with that for how many years has it been like that? Four? I don't know exactly how many it's been like that. Three or four. They shrunk it some this year, reduced the number of days. I don't think they got what they 